Well, I'm delighted to say I'm joined by Peter McCarroll here from Allen Park up here in the Hilton uh, in Temple Patrick. And Peter, we're looking ahead to the Players' Championships in Sawgrass. Rory McIlroy quoted at 14-1 to 1 to win it. Mm -hmm. Everybody hopes one of our own local lads can do it. Can they do it, uh, the players? Yeah, I think so. I think Rory McIlroy can win any time he turns up. Um, I think he's, he's coming close to his best. The putter hasn't been behaving of late. So I think if he, if he gets warm with the putter, he's going to be there thereabouts. He's, he's hitting the ball solid, so he's, just, he's ready to explode, as everyone's saying at the moment. Let's hope it's, it's this week. Can I ask, as a you know, as an ordinary punter who plays an odd game of golf, is it the same whenever you're a professional that someday the ball, you know, you you, you look at uh, Darren Clark when he won the Open, uh, instead of the ball going right into trouble when he was playing, it, it went left for him and you know it was successful. Can you get a day like that even whenever you're a top class player like uh, that? Yeah, I certainly get most days like that where the breaks seem to be worse, but. Um I think I don't know if it's true, but I think the harder you practice, the luckier you tend to get. And I know when I'm preparing for a tournament, I put in the put in the work. I, for whatever reason, luck seems to go your way quite often. Um, but certainly, there's definitely an element of that. Interesting too, the way golf goes, you know, because Padraig Harrington is missing from the Players Championship. Mm -hmm. You suddenly go from someone who can win opens, and suddenly you're out of the top two hundred. Like it's, yeah. it's it's a it's a cruel game, isn't it? It is, but perhaps looking back, he tried to change too much. You know, won three majors in a couple of years and tinkered with his swing and hasn't really captured that same form since. So, yeah, if something's going well, maybe that's the time to, to leave it alone and, and not change it. Now, you say Rory McIlroy can win on any course. You take a look at the rest of the lads in, in the sawgrass. Um, would you be putting money on, on McIlroy to win it or would you be, be looking at somebody else? Um, I'll be looking for somebody a little bit more consistent. Um, Justin Rose, I fancy, this week. Uh, won the US Open, obviously, last year. Had a good comeback in the Masters and finished top 10. Probably one of the straightest drivers of the golf balls and pretty much good at every aspect of the game. But um, I'd be looking at a few outsiders. If I was putting my money on, I would like to look at somebody who's... Because I think it's very open at the moment with, obviously, Tiger Woods not playing. so. Somebody like Brendan De Jong, 90 to 1, I think is a fantastic bet. He shot 62 last week and makes more birdies than anybody else on the US Tour. So he's somebody I would have in an each way punt on for sure. So we just exclude that from the TV and I'll keep that myself, OK? <laughs> Brendan De Jong at 90 to 1. But uh, <laughs> uh, golf is, is fantastic on the TV as well too. But what you're saying to me there, whenever you, whenever you look at a lad that's 90 to 1, Brendan De Jong, mm -hmm. basically you're saying that it's very much a lottery of a player. You know, of the, the, they're all, a lot of them are, are of what, the same ability, but uh, then you have people like Michael Roy Woods maybe have that wee bit extra. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more, I think. Um, but at the end of the day, it comes down to the putting. Um, these greens are, are quite grainy, um, so it's whoever's going to putt best. Uh, I, I fancy you know, the Americans to do well because they're used to that type of grass on the putting surface, but yeah, it's so wide open. You know, there's nobody dominating, there's nobody winning two, three weeks in a row anymore like Tiger would have done in the past, so you can go right back to you know, 150 to 1, still have a chance. I just noticed before, Retief Goosen, twice a major champion, 150 to 1 playing very well at the moment, so there's another another tip. So I'm going to have to nail you down because you've virtually mentioned everybody that's playing in it, so I'll have to see if we can get you to pick a top three even. Who you yeah. would think, listen, if you're looking at the punters, who you'd be keeping a, a keen eye on at Sawgrass uh, yeah, this pick, week? Picking somebody to win for me would be one of the two Englishmen, Luke Donald or Justin Rose. Somebody each way, if you're looking an outside bet, would be Brendan De Jong or Retief Goosen, 150 to 1. I think that's certainly worth a pound each way. Peter, thank you very much indeed. We'll take a look at your bets or your ideas no with problem. great interest in the coming days. Thank you. No problem.